Discrimination refers to the unfair treatment of people based on some identifiable social characteristics such as race, ethnicity, gender, sexuality, or class. From forced enslavement and employment restrictions to segregation and interpersonal violence, discrimination has historically been one of the defining characteristics of U.S. society. In the past five decades, however, some historically disadvantaged groups have made tremendous progress, largely because of the 1964 Civil Rights Act, which prohibits discrimination or segregation on the grounds of sex, race, color, religion, and national origin. Nevertheless, discrimination still exists. Discrimination can operate at different levels. It can be at the personal level, but it can also be at the institutional level. Personal discrimination is unfair treatment of certain groups by individual people. It's based on broad generalizations, but expressed by individuals rather than at the macro or the institutional level. This type of discrimination includes bias treatment during face-to-face -face encounters, avoidance, it can be exclusion, or threats or acts of violence. This kind of personal discrimination receives the most media attention, especially when it's violent and brutal, such as racially motivated hate crimes. It's a blatant kind of behavior that takes place in a way that it can be captured and discussed. But there are other kinds of discrimination that are less overt. Quiet bias refers to a subtle bias that results in disparate treatment. Things like a guidance counselor that steers students away from difficult subjects and towards vocational school. And a great example of that was my son, who wasn't the hardest working high school student, and I wasn't the most active parent with the schools. So we were a kind of low profile family. And his guidance counselor told him that he wasn't Purdue material, which almost caused him not to apply. Thankfully he did, and graduated with straight A's except for one B. But that's the kind of insidious message that's the result of quiet bias. From a gender-based perspective, chivalrous or protective behaviors towards women, particularly in the workplace, can be quiet bias as well. Not giving women projects that entail after-hour work or travel due to the assumption that they are the primary caretaker for the children can also be quiet bias. Quiet bias can also refer to coded words. That's one way it should be distinguished from more blatantly discriminatory ideologies. The more benign sounding language provides very little superficial evidence that the person is unbiased. These kinds of words may include those coded words and examples of these are words like welfare or inner city, crime. But these kinds of words tap into racial anxieties and all the time amongst the avid disavowals of discriminatory intent by the user.